guys, thanks for joining me for my Scentsy vlog part two. Um, I'm just going to be uh, capturing the experience I have with joining up as a new Scentsy independent consultant. Um, I signed up just after the 4th of July. It's now um, July 20th that I'm recording this and um, I just kind of wanted to give you an update. Shortly after signing up, I had done an unboxing video that I'll link up there. Um, showing what I got in my essential consultant kit. It's a little bit more of a modified version that's only available during July for half the price of their regular one, but they still have the same kind of goals that you have to hit. Um, within the first two weeks or so of signing up, you have this one goal to hit a shooting star award. Um, and when you hit that level, it's um, $500 in sales, but once you hit that level, then you're allowed to purchase a grip of Scentsy stuff to use for parties or to loan out to people or just whatever you want to do. The great thing about Scentsy is you can run it however you want within their guidelines, but um, so this was just a goal of mine. Um, I had given my sister an extra set of testers that my sponsor had given to me to use and so between the two of us, we were just trying to, to network with people to see if we could hit that goal and what it would be like. So um, with the first weekend, we had gone away out of town and we brought the testers with our family and they purchased some items. But then it was like in for the big haul because we had to hit this. I mean, I wanted to hit the goal. You didn't have to, but it's just kind of, you know, like, can you do it? Yes, you can. So some of the things that I realized after getting the testers is that it's kind of overwhelming. I mean, there's 80 of them in here and it's kind of a lot. Everything when you order um, themes of the scents, there's the spring and summer and starting September 1st, there will be fall and winter scents. There's their new releases, their classics, romance, Scentsy Man, Spa. And I just, a little bit of my type A wanted to kind of have everything consolidated. So I did two things. One thing I did was I separated and put all of these in bags. In a little while, I'm waiting for some, for a thermal tote to arrive to be able to put these in a better package. But for now, they're just in good old Ziplocs. Um, on the front, I have a sticker that says what it is. So these are new releases. And inside it has all of the scents. Um, in addition to doing that, because when you're out somewhere and people are opening them up, they might get kind of mixed up. So I also have little stickers on each one that's the same color corresponding. So if you see them out, it's just easy to separate them, put them all back in the bag and have them for your next party or whatnot. So I started by doing that, but then I wanted to take it one step further because if you're in a group environment and there's a bunch of you smelling them, how are you gonna keep track of which ones you like? I mean, it's not like you're gonna have well, if you're a mom, you might, but you might not always have like a pad of paper and a pen in your purse to jot down what you like. So what um, I did was in a, the group that I'm on on Facebook, they have a whole file directory. And so I took one that they had and updated it because it was a little old. So on here, it has all of the scents divided up by categories. I also color coded these to match the stickers on the bags. And then it lists all of them alphabetically, and then there's a column for like it, love it, not for me. So this is my sheet, so I went through and smelled all of them and wrote down my notes on which ones I liked, which ones I don't like, and which ones I loved. And I have nothing marked off for Scentsy Man because that scent field is just not for me. Um, but so that way this you know, is something to be able to give to the people that they can have so whenever I follow up with them to reorder, they can try something new. Um, and that way they just know on their own what they like. So this was something that it didn't take me very long. Two of them fit on an eight and a half by 11 paper. And then I just cut them down the middle. Oh, and I also, oh, this one doesn't have it, but um, my sponsor sent me her um, Word document file to create your own label. So, so these have the labels on them. It lists my name, my website for Scentsy, my email address, and my phone number. Uh, and one of the things they recommend with Scentsy is that you literally label everything. So I have one on all my sample boxes, on my scent bag, it's on all of my catalogs, except for this one. Um, but just so that way if anyone's keeping anything and they can't remember like your name or they can't figure out how to search for you in their email or Facebook or whatever, they're able to go back to a product that they have that you had um, that they purchased from you and um, be able to reach you your contact information. So 
What's next for me? Um, I get my first official order coming in um, tomorrow, and then I'll be passing them out to the people that purchased them, and then I'm just kind of setting up. So um, what I'm doing is offering up to people that I know like candles or stuff like that, um, offering them a chance to take this for a day or two, go through and smell them, write down what they want, and I, if they want to place an order and then, I tell them that's great. If they want to wait until I have a local order so they don't have to pay for shipping, that's even better. Um, that's how I just got a couple more um, that hit, had us hit our goal was through that method. So my sister had her friends put in their order, I had my friends, and then they're all going to come to me and then I'll divide it all up and drop them off. And then hopefully, you know, if people are using them at work, they'll have other people in their office going by and smelling them and be like, what is that? And be like, oh, that's the bonfire smell, which is one of, Bonfire Beach is now one of my new favorites. Um, so yeah, so that's just something we're doing. And then passing out whenever I can, um, just like they suggest to spray everything, just make everything smell good. And one thing I've learned is that not all scents are created equal for different people. Uh, of the people and family members that I've had fill this out, we are all different. And I think there's only a couple that we all kind of love, which is like Satin Sheets is a fan favorite. Um, and there was one other one too. The Bonfire Beach one is, I've had a couple people like that one. But um, I'm also diving out of my comfort zone and getting a blueberry cheesecake to try out in my home because according to my Facebook group, like that's one of their top sellers and it's just crazy to me because I don't typically like scents that smell like that with like the cooking, but I am expanding my horizons and stepping outside of my comfort zone. So thanks for stopping by and just keep posted, subscribe so you can get updates on when I do the next video. Have a great day.